How's it gaming? I'm Phil in the Blanks, and Merry Christmas! It is Christmas Day, or at least I hope it is the day that I want to put this up. Because uh, we have a very special, special game. We have The King of Kings, a very Christmassy video game. Uh, funny story, um, I always take my Decembers off, and this year specifically I went to Disney World with my wife. And, like, right before I left, my local, like, game place got a bunch of the Nintendo, like, Bible games, the unlicensed games by Wisdom Tree, and I was able to grab a few of them. I was able to grab four of them. Uh, they had gotten five, but someone got off with one of them. But still, I grabbed four of them, one of which is The King of Kings, which has actually three games. Uh, the Wise Men, Flight to Egypt, Jesus, and the Temple. Um, but yeah, we're gonna play The Wise Men. <laughs> uh, difficulty, let's, let's, what do I got? Easy? It's fun easy, just because. So yeah, this is the King of Kings. Um, I think anyone that knows anything about like a little bit of the um, famous history of unlicensed games for the NES knows about Wisdom Tree. Uh, they just they made unlicensed um, kind of religious games. Everyone says they're Christian games, but most of their games take place in the Old Testament, which is you know closer to like Jewish faith, I guess. I don't know. There's definitely some Christianity in that too, but you know what I'm talking about. Jesus fell with multitudes with... Oh, jeez. Uh, I don't know. One one loaves? One loaves. That doesn't sound right. Let's just say five. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you got it right. I so know my Bible trivia. Um, anyways, this is, uh, the games did fairly well for what they were because it was like an untapped audience, really. So, you know, no one had really done religious-style games so the Christian uh, kind of like, world or whatever kind of ate it up. I mean, I remember playing these types of games when I was a kid um, at my local church, too, so, you know, it worked. God having provided some better thing for us. Uh, what? That was they without... Would you, what? God having provided some better thing for him. Yeah, sure. I don't know. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't even understand the question there. Um... So, so, yeah, anyways, I found this would be a really fun Christmas episode. Cheesy as shit. Yeah, absolutely. And not super fun, because these aren't really well-made games, as far as I remember. Level 1 complete! Woo! Uh, this specifically... Frankincense count. Uh, this specific part of the game is um, the three wise men going to uh, uh, find their way to Bethlehem. Uh, with, you know, the star in the sky. And there's a song, and the song's playing. It's very Christmassy. Specifically Christmas, so, you know, I figured that'd be good. What did that do? Oh, I can shoot things now. Cool. Yay. So far, so good. This isn't too bad yet. <laughs> I've played some really bad games on the NES, and so far this is just kind of, like, uninspired more than it is bad. But I figured we'll play a little bit of this, just do a little quickie. Probably not beat it, but see what happens, right? But yeah. Anyways... It is Christmas. I hope you guys are out. I hope you guys are having a good Christmas. Oh, that doesn't hurt me when it starts like that. Okay, good. Uh, I hope you guys are having a good Christmas, or a happy Hanukkah, or whatever it is you celebrate. I hope you guys are basically just having a good time this year. A uh, good time this time of year, you know. Right before we, you know, kick off a new year. Jesus was blah blah, blah when he went to Jerusalem. Well, I'm gonna probably say 12. <laughs> uh... And, and whether or not you have any uh, sort of religious ties to the holidays, I hope it's definitely a good time for you regardless. Um, religion's not really something I talk about on the channel very much, which is probably the smartest thing. <laughs> After three days, Mary and Joseph found Jesus in the temple, sitting in the midst of the tax collectors. Not sitting, I mean, well, he was he was overturning the tables. So he wasn't... Okay, good. Um, it's not something I really talk about a lot on the channel, because I, like, my channel's for entertainment. It's not really to... One, it's not to preach. Uh, two, it's not really to, like, make people think about this type of stuff. Be angry and sin not, let not the sun go down upon your wrath, neither give place to... <sighs> Whoa. Oh, that's... Neb Nebuch Nebuchadrezzar? I don't know, I can't remember. I don't say the devil, it's always the devil. Um, and, and I definitely don't want to start anything now, but I figured, you know, if, if there's going to be any episode where we talk about faith or anything, it's going to be the... Whoa! That was a weird physics on the on the camel there. It's gonna be the, the Christmas episode. So um there we go. Ah, you son of a bitch. Oh jeez, you're not dead. Well I beat it. I beat the level anyways. Is that the boss? Oh, do I have to beat him? Why does he do this? Why is what like what is he doing? Okay, is he dead? Oh, I keep going. Okay, he's a mini boss. Or no, full boss. Um 
But yeah, I, I was raised Catholic. My family is a Catholic family. Um, and I did go to church a lot when I was a kid. And that kind of stopped when I was like in, in, like in middle school, when I was a teenager, that kind of thing. Um, and then I just kind of just became this background thing forever. Or not forever, for a long time that I didn't really think about. And, um, you know, I, I definitely have um, faith now. I found faith, you know, my own kind of interpretation of faith as I got older and whatnot. And Jesus fed the multitudes with... Oh, you already asked me that. Good thing I know it. It's five. And, uh... You know, it's definitely shaped how I, I kind of act, or at least I try to act and whatnot. And I totally understand that's not for everyone, and I'd never want to be the kind of guy who, you know, forces his belief on other people. Which is why I kind of don't bring up my faith very often. So, sort of hope it's okay with you guys to just kind of bring it up randomly just once on the Christmas episode. But, well, that's weird. <laughs> Pretty sure that wasn't in Bethlehem. What the, what the hell is that? But anyways, um, but by the way, this is an episode to like get into flame wars or anything in the comments. I don't think it'll happen. I've got like three people to watch my stuff. For money, for many shall come in my name, kind of saying I am Christ and shall deceive many. Probably. Yeah. Um, definitely not what this is about. Kind of, you know, you guys are okay with me putting the rest of my life, you know, on this channel and talking about it. So I figured why not this? But yeah. There's a lot of these. This is just give me like extra extra hit. I'm gonna skip them. As you can see, like while I I I, I classify myself as I guess a little religious, um, I, I do classify myself as a Christian. Um, I clearly don't know much about the Bible, so <laughs> you know, my terms of practicing my religion is more just being a good person to people, or at least trying to, and have try to have good morals and ethics. It's it's less about doing the specifics, you know what I mean? Like reading everything about the Bible or, or you know, going to church every week or anything like that. I, I really do think being a good person is super, super important. And that's not just a thing about religion either. I know so many people in my life that are not religious at all and are like some of the nicest and most wonderful people in the world. Like they're the godliest people that I know are the ones who don't believe in God. So. Because you don't, because you believe in God doesn't make you a good person, and because you don't believe in God doesn't make you a bad person. I just, I don't know. <laughs> I think a lot of people need to know that. I've, I've, I've met so many people that that share like my beliefs, but they, they're not good people towards other people, and it really bothers me. I guess I don't know. Ah, uh, not to get too dark or anything like that. Let's talk about the game. So <laughs> this was made by a company called, Col uh, yeah, called Color Dreams. Doing pretty good, by the way. I'm also on easy mode. That's okay. I get knocked back. I thought I was gonna get knocked back. Uh, it was made by Color Dream. Or sorry, no, Wisdom Tree. Bleh, I'm so stupid. They were a company called Color Dreams, and uh, weirdly enough, when I found this uh, these games, I actually have a book about the development of these games, uh, the development of of the company Wisdom Tree. It's part of the uh, boss fight books. I collect those. They're really fun. Um, they're really good. But uh, Wisdom Tree was originally... I, I don't forget... I, I don't forget. I don't remember any of the guys' names who made the company. But the company was originally called Color Dreams. And it was... They wanted to make unlicensed games for the NES. Because they didn't want to deal with Nintendo. Because Nintendo was really hard to deal with back in the 80s and 90s. And uh, they found a way to get past... I think it was called the Rapid Chip. Uh, but it was a lockout chip for the NES that made it so that if Nintendo didn't license the game, the, the game wouldn't work in the NES. You know how a lot of games had those little... If you got like a, a multi-pack cart, a lot of times you'd have a little uh, converter that would make the game work on your NES. And uh, Wiz or Color Tree didn't need it. They found a way through it. So they started making games, and they weren't super popular or, or good. And, oh, whoa, look at that background! Jeez, the NES doesn't have parallax, parallax scrolling. And this isn't parallax scrolling, mind you. It's just a cool trick that they did. But that, that looks really cool. Anyways, um, wow, a mouse. Man, Bethlehem is dangerous. Uh, they, uh, they decided one day to tap into uh, an audience that didn't get any, like, like pandering basically by by the video games and that was the 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 christian kind of audience and the guys who made color dreams when they changed their thing to wisdom tree they were they're not christians they are not <laughs> religious people they just want to make games and make some money but the fun part is i like about the story is that even though they didn't believe in this stuff um they did try i mean the games are bad but they did try to give it kind of the respect 
that they, they felt it deserved, you know, as a product. So they did hire a few Christians to kind of um, make sure that it wasn't like, you know, can this game be a fighting game where Jesus fights people? <laughs> no, it can't. You know what I mean? Like, things like that. And, um, and, and I think they did a pretty good job. I mean... They're not super fondly remembered, obviously, but I mean, this is way better than some of, like, the really bad games I've ever played on the NES. This is just kind of boring, if anything else. Oh, jeez. Does that go? Okay, good. I was about to say, where am I jumping after this? Um, it's, it's a slightly boring, and there's no real style to it, but I wouldn't call this bad by any means in terms of, like, unplayable or something. Just very generic and weak. But, you know, good on them. I mean, that's an audience that, you know wanted some video games, I guess, and they did very well. So, I can't really get angry about th about that with them. This is pretty good, actually, so far. I'm liking this a lot more than some of the other Bible games I've played. Heaven and Earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Okay, that's yeah, probably true. My thing with multi multiple choice questions in, like, a Bible game would be, if the question makes God seem awesome, it's probably gonna be true. Because they're not gonna, like... <laughs> Mark 312, God's cool, false. Like, they're not going to do that, right? So that's kind of an easy way of uh, determining whether or not uh, the, the question is going to be true or not, or whatever, or correct in terms of trivia. Uh, there's not really much to this game. I'm kind of surprised at how few enemies there are, and it's not all that difficult. I've heard that the physics in some of the other Bible games get really crazy bad. And I, the ones I played were like the ones um, where it was like the Baby Moses game where, where you played as Moses' mom and she had to get him down to the river. And I played, and that was the same one with like Noah and whatnot. Which is more about, oh geez, I'm um, supposed to get up there? Am I going the wrong way now? No, maybe? Can't tell. Um... Yeah, I don't think that's going to make it. That's, I'm dead. Oh, no. Good. Okay. Nice vertical climb. I have no idea how long this game is, by the way, guys. Uh, I figured we'd just kind of play a little bit. And if an hour goes by, or I get that bored, then uh, we'll stop. But I mean, if I beat it, cool. I just keep getting hit by those stupid mice. Oh, might as well get some life. I think that's what these, yeah, these things do. But he that shall endure a little while, the same shall be saved. I don't even... Sure. No? Okay, guess not. I don't even know that how that works in a like a sentence structure kind of way <laughs> but yeah I wasn't going to do anything for a Christmas episode because I, I did I did Snow Bros which was super fun and that's a very wintry game not really Christmassy then when I saw this I was like alright I need to I could have waited till next year but why like why wait till next year when I have the game now right like ooh. This is a very perilous um, platform. The controls aren't bad, though. Like, it's not amazing or anything, but it's definitely not bad. I wish I knew what anything was. There we go. That was, like, stage, like, six or something. I have no idea how many stages there are. But if I'm going this, uh... This kind of fast, because we're only, like, 14 minutes in, then I'm doing pretty good. Oh, it's gold. Because there's, like, gold, frankincense, and myrrh and stuff. Am I changing... Am I, am I a different, uh... Uh... Uh, one of the wise men? I wonder if I'm, like, changing characters at all. Yeah, I think I'm a new person now. Why is there a duck? By the way, I'm sorry if I'm, like, kind of stuttery in, like, how I'm talking. I'm trying real hard not to be, like, offensive, I guess. This is... I'm, 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 I know it's not, like, a... YouTube's not really a place to talk about this type of stuff. And, and while I, I don't mind talking about the stuff with friends and family and whatnot, this is still just a silly YouTube channel where we're playing a really shitty unlicensed game. So I, that's why I'm kind of trying to tiptoe around my words a little bit without being a little, a little too into it, you know. Let these sayings sink down to your ears, for the Son of Man shall not be delivered into the hands of men. Okay, yeah, I'm about to say, that didn't sound familiar. Oh, jeez, there's a boss. I don't like how there's no no more music. It's just this one song. Whatever, that was easy. This is fun, though. It's, it's very... It's sort of relaxing. It's not that difficult. Obviously, it was made for, like, kids and families and whatnot. Not for hardcore gamers like Phil and the Black. Ah, duck! Yeah. <laughs> Behold, a virgin shall conceive, a bear a son, and shall call his name... Emmanuel. Yay. So, question of the day, what do you guys like about Christmas? 
Let's talk about Christmas a little bit. Not specifically the... I mean, if, if the religious part of it is what you like, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from the earth. Wouldn't be Goliath or Stephen, whoever that is. Um, I'm just going to skip this stuff. If, uh, if the religious aspect of Christmas is what you enjoy about it, please tell me. But it doesn't have to be. This isn't about that. It's, uh, like, you know, what do you like about it? I love, like, the traditional Christmassy stuff. I'm a big fan of, like, the 50s style Christmas music. You know what I mean? Like, I really like that stuff. Big Crosby and even Elvis and whatnot. Just makes me happy. Uh, one of one of my favorite Christmas stuff is actually Alvin and the Chipmunks. I know that's super dorky, but I listened to them when I was a kid for Christmas, so it makes me, you know, in the Christmas mood. So, like, tell me about you guys. What do you like about Christmas? What puts you in the Christmas mood? Um, do you really not like Christmas? And the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose. Uh, true? Okay. Um, maybe you don't like Christmas, because maybe it brings awful times to your memories, or maybe you work in retail like I do and it kind of sucks sometimes which it does but wow you came back I'll be honest this year it actually hasn't been that bad uh, oh I am another guy yeah I'm a different person you switch uh is that a bow and arrow I get that you, it looks like you switch uh wise men every every um level that's kind of cool but yeah uh do you have any traditions with family what did you guys do this year I, I'm I'm doubting many people are watching this on Christmas even though I'm putting it up on Christmas but who was the mother of Jesus Jeez, I have no idea. It's, it's Martha! <laughs> it was Martha! Superman, Batman, and Jesus all had the same mother. That's why they didn't fight to the to the death. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm assuming most people aren't watching this on Christmas because they, you know, they're doing their Christmas stuff. Uh, but what did you do for Christmas? Did you, did you have a good Christmas? I hope so. And uh, what are your New Year's plans? I, myself, am having a party. <laughs> you might be invited. It depends on who's watching this. But chances are you're probably not. If you're not blaming my wife, my wife is the one who set up the Christmas party. Or Christmas slash New Year's party. Because we kind of combine them. <clears throat> we put on the uh, bad Christmas sweaters and just have a have a good old merry time. I got a lot of myrrh. What is myrrh? Okay, gold, I know what it is. Frankincense is what? It's like perfume or something? No, it's spices? I have no idea. Myrrh. Myrrh. I have reached baby Jesus. Oh, did I beat it? Is that the game? Cool. Well, Gloopy's happy. Gloopy's happy because we found Jesus. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. That was very cheesy. Congratulations, you have won. We don't to live. Okay, I won't get into that. <laughs> well, I'm filming plays, guys. And that was a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to turn off my stopwatch because I thought that might have been a lot longer. But that was, that was a lot of fun. And I'm glad I was able to play some silly, unlicensed NES games for you. But, uh... In all seriousness, I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. And uh, holy crap, we're only a couple days until 2020. And we'll do my yearly um, wrap-up, my kind of what's going to happen for the next year. And, and I'm really looking forward to it. And yeah, so I'm Felton Blakes. I'll see you guys next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.